blessings and blessings learn to reprogram your subconscious mind. Rah! Blessings and blessings everybody. My name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission is about how to reprogram, rewire, and reintegrate. Hurrah! Let's go! What is really true versus what is true? Mm. Oh, we just got to breathe for a moment because the video could be over just off that, but I will continue. So, first and foremost, what you get to know about me is I am one of those people who is considered a master manifester. Now, whether it's me manifesting uh, without trying uh, two six-figure publishing deals from Simon & Schuster uh, to write my books, um, or um, being on Impact Theory and all these different shows and things of that nature, or calling in clients for coaching or manifesting the woman of my dreams, or manifesting twins, uh, healthy children, etc., etc., etc. You could call all of that luck, or you can understand that I have tapped in to some universal laws, and now I know that I get to teach these laws to you and bring it forth in such a way that I synthesize it so that it may be tangible and, and you feel like you can touch it. So, uh, without further ado, there is something called auto-suggestion. And the point of auto-suggestion is to uh, begin to retrain and reprogram the subconscious mind. Now, the subconscious mind is the mind that is on autopilot. It's the one that's below everything that is essentially moving you. It's, it's, um, it is the essence from which you live from. And one of the things that is important for you to take note of is there are four levels of what it means to be human for four stages, four levels. Um, the first is we are biological beings, right? There's, there's a lot going on in these beautiful skin suits. Um, second is we are linguistic beings, which means we build worlds, we build worlds with our language. So we speak what we seek until we see, mm, but the eye behind the eye, what we said. We speak what we seek until we see what we said. Mm. Number three is we are social and historical beings, which means we were born, born into beliefs and interpretations. Each of us was born into beliefs and interpretations. Now those beliefs and interpretations, hmm, because we rely on our parents for uh, love, uh, food, survival, at some level, um, those things are occurring before we have uh, all of our conscious faculties. Um, I read somewhere the other day that our brain isn't even close to complete until around 30 years old. Now I'm in my 40s, so I'm playing a whole different game right now, but I just want to just um, bring this forward because at 33, I moved back in with my mom, broke as a joke. And the next year, I blew up 150,000. Next year, 300. Next year, 600. Next year, 1 million. And I just kept declaring and moving stuff out of my subconscious mind. And that's just the money part, let alone what was happening internally. Because I was experiencing levels of abundance and joy and freedom that I had never ever tasted before, except for when I was a child, before I was programmed to believe that I was not enough, before I was programmed to uh, inherit the lack and limitation and scarcity mindset that my parents, their parents, and their parents had inherited from their parents, their parents, and their parents. Oh my God, please. Please, just type yes, type I'm feeling you, whatever the case may be, if this is landing for anyone. And it may just be a simple reminder. So, we reprogram the subconscious mind. Uh, we train, right? Because anything, if I take a rock and I just do like this over and over and over again, this bicep, which is already pretty damn sexy and big, uh, will get bigger and bigger because I'm training it. You have been programmed 
I have been programmed. And so what we get to do is go through our lives and cut all the cords that no longer serve us because we're attached. We're attached and that attachment doesn't allow us to become free. That freedom is what some are afraid of. They, 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 um, Jesus said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. There are some humans inhabiting this earth that uh, benefit from you staying running from your subconscious. And so let's get to the how. How we do so is we envision and allow ourselves to experience, mm, hear the word, experience that which we desire through the, through the form of frequency. Now, most of us, mm, we, we declare, we shoot rockets. Oh, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. But the question is, is when you're wanting, where are you wanting from? Because context creates content. We live in a malleable, malleable, meaning like Play-Doh. We live in a universe that can be formed and, and stretched and moved according to the laws. Now, the laws are there for us to use. Uh, there are people in this world who've used laws for their benefit that didn't seem like it was for others' benefit. Gandhi used the laws to galvanize and mm, break free. Hitler used the laws to galvanize and crush. Still the same law. Still the same energy. Still the same power. Now the question is, is do you, do you, will you allow yourself to know that that power lives in here? All of your program, all of it has taught you that it's out there. When you get the good grades, when you get the good job, when you have this much in your account, when you have this many followers, when you have this many subscribers, when you have X, Y, and Z, when you, when you, that's when you're worthy. If you're this age and you're living with your mom, bad, wrong, X. Hmm. Somebody's going to hear me today. Somebody is going to hear me today. So how we reprogram, I will go back to it, is we allow ourselves to experience the frequency of that which we are calling in. So let's just say, for example, you would like to... Uh, manifest more money. First question is, so that you can what? Because most of you want more because it's an addiction that just lives below. Because you've been taught to get the next Ninja Turtle and the next Barbie doll and the next toy since you were this big. And so now you find yourself just consuming for the sake of consuming and you always have this new thing you, you want and a part of that is yes, our nature. And another part of it is the consumerism, the weapon of mass distraction that has been used to use you as a uh, form of, of um, folly. So whatever it is you desire out there, first thing to note is it's, it exists. Everything exists at once. Everything you desire exists now. It's here. Now whether it's here in what you know as the present, it's a different story. So what we do is we, uh, we envision and, and we allow ourselves, the cells of our body, then we give the, the, the brain the signal and the neuropeptides send the signals to the body and the body uh, acquiesces. Oh, oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Now, that's the first stage, right? Just, oh, I love this. Yes, I receive. Ooh, I know it's on its way, so I will receive. Ooh, yes, I will receive. Now, the second stage, right? When you begin to take this to another level, it has no thing attached to it. Mm, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Reasonless joy. De the declaration of perfect, whole, and complete. The, 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 the declaration of all needs met and the celebration that comes with that. Mm, that is when you start to get into another level of manifestation. Now, I'm going to leave this here because there's a lot that's been said. And what I want you to know and what I'm requesting and uh, putting into your space is A, if you're seeing this and you're not uh, a part of the Love's Voice family, make sure that you are, make sure you subscribe, um, click the thumbs up so, this, so people, more people see it. Um, 
please leave a message below with what landed for you and let this simmer in your consciousness for a week and then come back and tell me what you notice. So remember the game, the name of the game is to feel the feelings of what you are declaring. Speak it into existence. Let it go. You don't have to speak it into existence every day. Just speak it into existence and let it go. Let it, let it go. Let it flow. Stop overthinking and overanalyzing and start overflowing with joy, peace, harmony, abundance. And that is the only thing, according to the law, that can come back to you. <sighs> Blessings and blessings. PressOnSmiles.com if you would like to go deeper with me and the family. Let's go.